Rockingham County Rehab and Nursing Center's 300 staffers taking part in the state's initiative to offer COVID-19 tests for all workers in long-term care facilities in Rockingham and Hillsborough counties. We're going to convene an MD and they've set us up over at Riverwoods in Exeter and we've had over 100 staff so far in two days. But because a staff member could be negative one day and contract the virus the next, concern is that however well intended, a one-time test won't fix the problem. I'm as interested in knowing, you know, uh, uh, seeing testing of the staff uh, at a grocery store as, a, as I am at a nursing home at this point. The New Hampshire Health Care Association works with over 80 private facilities in the state. We would just as soon be able to also uh, test at will with rapid results uh, staff members who seem to have the symptoms of the virus uh, and just can't get tested right now. They get turned down. Access to testing overall still an issue. We really need uh, the rapid result testing. I know the governor's been frustrated about the fact that the federal government hasn't uh, given us the resources we need for that. He says community-wide testing will help long term. We need, uh, you know, what's called surveillance testing, where you, uh, you know, randomly check uh, people in the population to get a sense of how widespread this is. He says that if a staffer is positive, that uh, at least full PPE would at least somehow protect in the meantime. But he says the continued scramble for that, as well as testing at the national level all these weeks later, is very frustrating. We're live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.